Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Thank you for watching News 5. I'm Renee Skinner. Fire crews are back at it again, working to put out the incline fire in Manitou Springs. The blaze is now 60% contained and estimated at one acre. Bar Trail, the incline and the Bar Trail parking lots will be closed through the weekend. And new evacuations issued for the Cameron Peak Fire in Larimer County. Officials there saying continued record high temperatures and low humidity led to increased fire behavior and mandatory evacuations in several areas. That fire has burned more than 133,000 acres since August 13th and is 44% contained. And not too far away from the Cameron Peak Fire, the Mullen Fire has grown to more than 173,000 acres. Most of that in Wyoming. The fire crossed into Colorado. September 30th, prompting evacuations. Containment on the Mullen Fire right now is 21%. And in our school watch, Rampart High School temporarily moving to e-learning starting Monday after a staff member tested positive for COVID-19. 31 staff members are now in quarantine. Also in District 20, a group at Timberview Middle School to quarantine for 14 days as one student is experiencing COVID-like symptoms. They plan to synchronize all of the learning and return to class October 26th. Legacy Peak reporting two people from the same class testing positive. All right, let's send it over to meteorologist Alex O'Brien. Main concern in the weather forecast this weekend will be fire danger. So today from noon until 8, we have a red flag warning for El Paso County and the Eastern Plains. Humidity dropping less than 10%, wind gusts to 20 miles per hour. This could cause any existing or new fires to spread rapidly today. And unfortunately, that does expand by tomorrow. So here are today's warnings. Here's on Sunday where we have extreme winds up to 50. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.